Hi everybody, Jeff Yastine here. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter and on Facebook. And I'd also uh, invite you to check out my newsletter, my subscription newsletter, all my best stock ideas in there. It's called Next Gen Profits. I encourage you to check it out. So uh, I wanna talk about the situation in Texas right now with chunks of the power grid having been knocked offline there by the extreme uh, ice and cold, ice and uh, snow that they're experiencing there. Uh, and there's one key way to play that. Uh, if, you're, if you're looking not just for you know the next couple of days, but really talking about weeks, months, quarters, and years from now, is through the home standby generator market. And I have uh, a stock idea I wanna tell you about uh, as we go through this. Now, the home standby generator market is, is a nice market to be in. It's growing around, depending on which research study you go with, somewhere between uh, 6 and 8% a year. So at that pace, you know, it's basically doubling in size, you know, every, you know, 10, uh, 11, 8, somewhere between 8 and 11 years or so. And so uh, at that level, you know, it's not a rocket ship sort of ride. Uh, you're not talking about companies that are, are you know, doubling their, their earnings in a few years' time. But it's a nice steady market. And because of the way home generators work, you, uh, companies in that market get the benefit of the sale of the generator. But afterwards, they're selling the repair and parts element to it. So you know, when you buy one of these things, they cost you know between three, five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars, depending on the size of the one you're going to get. And uh, once you buy it, of course, it's you know like any sort of asset to your home. You are going to uh, pay what it takes to make sure it stays in good working order. And so all that adds up to nice profits for the companies in this marketplace. But as we look at the names of the companies that are in this marketplace really only one of them is a pure play and that's one this one right up here generac and uh, the rest they're all you know strong companies but they have their fingers in lots of different uh, parts of the of the uh, motor marketplace let, let's call it that so you know Yamaha they're making motors for motorcycles power generators and lots of other things same for uh, Kohler uh, Honda, Hyundai, and, and all the rest. So they're not exactly pure plays with the exception of Generac. However, as we look at the share price of Generac, uh, GNRC, you can see that the stock has already had a huge, huge run. I mean, basically, it's gone in the last uh, two years, it's gone from $50 up to uh, $350. So it begs the question, are there any other pure play possibilities? Because Generac, you're basically buying the shares after it's already had a huge run and it is a, a nicely profitable company, but you're paying a premium relative to the profits it generates to, to buy the stock. And obviously you're, 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 you're buying it at a point where it's already had a very long run as it's discovered by many investors. So where else could we look at for pure plays? Well, if you're willing to look at more of the emerging growth side of things, this is one place to look at. The company is called Polar Power, symbol P-O-L-A. Uh, they are also in the uh, home generation market. They're a very new entrant. They only got into it last year. And I'll show you the press release that announced all that uh, in a moment. Uh, Polar Power, though, as a company, has been around for more than 30 years. But through almost that entire length of time, they have focused on the uh, providing uh, standby power for uh, military applications, which they sell into the uh, Defense Department, and also for telecommunications companies. As more and more cell phone towers are out there, uh, the cell phone tower operators find it necessary to have standby power. And this is becoming a worldwide thing in terms of having standby power because there's a lot of cell phone tower operators all over the world that need to have their uh, towers with their communications and data links uh, always up and running they're having this to uh, install these standby power systems as well which polar power has been doing for many years now before we go any further on the stock on the chart as you can see here the shares have been in something of a downtrend after going off of a, a very nice run from roughly five dollars to more than 28 dollars uh, in january and they it's lost basically about 
uh, 30%, 40% or so since then. So this is one of those stocks and one of those ideas that you can basically put on your watch list and you watch the shares and wait for the stock to basically show you when it's ready or likely ready to stop falling. And one thing I'll use is this uh, oscillator down here called awesome, awesome Oscillator. There's nothing magical about it. It's just helping to show me when the trend in a stock is moving higher or when it's moving uh, lower and potentially going negative below what's called the zero line down here. But my overall point is watch these shares and as they drop, watch something like this oscillator and likely it'll go negative in coming days. And at some point, probably in another month or two, it'll merge back into positive territory. And that's your indication of a, of a place where uh, a person would consider buying it as the trend shifts from negative to positive again. Now, having said all that, why would polar power be something that we'd want to be positive about regarding the home standby generation market? So as this press release shows, it came out uh, January 7th of last year, 2020. And uh, the headline, you know, Polar Power achieves key milestone in its solar hybrid systems uh, for telecom residential, which I'm highlighting here, and commercial with EPA certification of the, uh, basically the Toyota natural gas engine that they're using for this thing. So Polar Power is a new entrant in this space, home standby generators. But I think uh, the comment from the press release kind of shows what their ambitions are. It says, although our focus is on the high end of the market, the opportunity is significant. As an example, in California, there are 4.9 million solar powered homes, 570,000 electric vehicles, 1.2 million residential homes with pools that could benefit from lower cost power generation because of the, of the pool pumps that are running uh, for many hours during the day. In addition to significant off-grid power needs and agricultural and residential applications across the nation. And I think that this move into the home standby generator market is a good one for polar power and will likely uh, sort of turbocharge the company's uh, earnings and revenue growth as it moves forward here. It's still a very early days, especially considering the COVID disruption. In 2016, they earned 58 cents a share on about $23 million in in revenue and over the next few years 2017 and then 2018 posting losses of eight cents uh, a share meanwhile revenue grew from 14 million to 24 million and then uh, roughly the same results in terms of revenue for 2019 although they did post a, a wider uh, loss now here's what's interesting is that as they came through the pandemic of course the company as as many did posted a wider loss, 85 cents a share, or is about to, this is still an estimate, that's what the E stands for. And of course, a small amount of, of revenue, revenue, roughly 9 million is expected for 2020. Uh, those results for 2020 are going to be reported on uh, March 5th, so just a handful of weeks from now. But what's interesting then, as we look to 2021 results, the, there's only one analyst who covers this stock, and the expectation is for a loss of 22 cents a share, a smaller loss, and a rebound in revenue to roughly 22 million. So getting back to where it was uh, in, the, in the last two years pre-pandemic. So polar power, that's one way uh, to look at uh, benefiting from this move for many folks in Texas, as well as here in Florida and elsewhere, uh, for people who are making additional investments in their houses and having these home standby generators installed in their homes. Generac is one way to play it, but you're, you're basically buying the stock at all time highs. And as I see it, Polar Power is on the sort of opposite end of the scale as a new entrant and emerging growth, uh, very small cap company. So of course there's a high risk, but there's also high reward. And as a company, they've been around for a long time. And so really the home standby generator market is just sort of a new place for them to uh, put their expertise to work. If you like what I'm talking about, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter and on Facebook. I'm Jeff Yastine.